Only eating at black owned restaurants for a full day. First up, we went to this Caribbean spot where they had these homemade ices. The owner said to mix the mango and pina colada together and it was so fruity and sweet and really refreshing. Oh yeah, this is Chef Vern. He is incredible. He said to try the jerk chicken and they also have oxtail loaded fries as a side and I freaking love oxtail. So tender, so rich and the fries were really cheesy and then they also have plantain lasagna, which was layers of juicy ground meat with sweet, soft, cheesy plantain contains like the perfect mix of sweet and savory and just look at this massive piece of chicken it was covered in that spicy sweet smoky seasoning oh it was so moist too like it just fell off the bone and so much flavor and for dinner we went to the world famous house of mac just look at this massive bowl of mac and cheese this was a smoked beef barbecue one which is made with their homemade alfredo sauce and smoked barbecue sauce and then it's topped with so much cheese and breadcrumbs that are baked for a little crunch but honestly these fries were the best thing I had all day. It's wild. Like they were so crispy. They might have been the crispiest fries I've ever had. I don't know. Like super salty too. Really well seasoned. I'd come back just for the fries, but I also got the mac and cheese burger that had turkey bacon, dill pickled chips, this special sauce, and the meat was like really juicy and had a little char. And anyway, that's all for today. Only eating at Chipotle for a full day. I haven't been here in over two years, but I've been craving a giant barbacoa burrito with queso and sour cream and chunky corn salsa and and it's even better than I remember. You gotta add the spicy salsa, which has that perfect kick and it makes your mouth all tingly. And then the barbacoa is so tender and savory. It's gotta be their best meat. And then I came back to try that TikTok bowl hack where you get heavy sour cream and extra cheese. And then I broiled it in my oven and then the cheese and sour cream like melt together and it gets so creamy and rich. And it's so good with the crunchy salty chips. I forgot how salty Chipotle chips are. And then I tried it with a guac, which is also really creamy, but it does add some fresh. And then I keep hearing about the honey vinaigrette, which is actually a game changer. Like it's so sweet and tangy and acidic and it just balances everything out and adds so much flavor too. And then for dinner, I got a steak quesadilla and look at how shiny the tortilla is. It's just so cheesy and a little crispy. And then the steak wasn't bad. Some pieces were a little bit chewy, but some were pretty juicy. And the freshness from the pico with the rich creaminess from the sour cream, it's so good. And that's all for today. Only eating at Wingstop for a full day. Wingstop will knock it off my For You page, so I ordered a bunch of stuff. I got the boneless with mango habanero, and I tried it with the blue cheese, which isn't too strong at all. It's like super creamy. And the sticky sweet sauce with the crunchy spicy wings, it's honestly heavenly. And for the bone-in, I got lemon pepper sauce, which is super bright and tangy, and they just slide right off the bone, and the skin is all crispy. And I've never tried their famous chicken sandwich, so I got it with honey rub. Oh my gosh, this might have been the best fast food fried chicken sandwich I've ever had. Like the perfect balance of sweet and spicy and the chicken was so tender and juicy with a great crunch and the bun was buttery. It also had a bunch of pickles too and I also got the fries well done with extra Cajun seasoning and they had a lot of flavor like peppery and salty. They could have been a little crispier. I think the fry oil needed changing but not bad. And later I went back to try the tenders. I tried them right in the wing stop to give them the best chance and I do love the original hot sauce. Honestly all the sauces smack but they were already not super crispy. Like I don't know how they didn't survive the two minute trip to my table. But the chicken was super moist and really tender. And I also got the corn with lemon pepper seasoning, which again is so good, like so tangy and acidic and peppery. And the corn is buttery. And finally, I brought the brownie home to warm it up and it was actually incredible, like melt in your mouth, gooey and decadent, super rich and chocolatey. I'd come back just for the brownie. And that's all for today. Only eating at the Cheesecake Factory for a full day. You already know it starts with the brown bread. It's so soft and warm and it's so sweet. It has this like molasses-y flavor. But honestly, the sourdough is underrated. Like the crust is so crispy and it's got this tanginess. Also, I feel like it stays warmer for longer. Anyway, we got the fried mac and cheese balls and look at how gooey and cheesy. They're so crunchy and the creamy marinara kind of adds a little sweetness. And I wanted to try the chicken Bellagio because it's Chris's favorite. It's got this peppery breaded chicken with creamy basil pasta that wasn't overcooked. And the prosciutto is so rich and like buttery and it just kind of melts in your mouth. But the honey truffle chicken was the star of the show. It was fried to perfection, like golden brown and crunchy and juicy. And the salty mashed potatoes with the sweet honey glaze. It's like savory and sweet. It's so good. And then we got the Adam's peanut butter cup fudge ripple cheesecake to go. And the combination of the smooth sugary caramel with the salty nutty peanut butter cups and then the crunchy butter fingers and the Oreo crust was so buttery. For dinner, I got the spicy chipotle chicken pasta and I air fried the tortilla strips to get them a little crunchy. 
crispier again. And it does have a little kick. It could use some more sauce and the noodles were super soft, but the honey glazed chicken was really moist. And finally, one of my all-time favorite desserts in the world, the Oreo Dream Extreme Cheesecake. That thick, rich, smooth chocolate icing and then the fluffy cookie mousse. And of course, the cheesecake is so creamy. And that's all for today. Everything I ate my first time at Arby's. First up, I had to try the loaded curly fries that have this crispy fried chicken and this thick cheese sauce. And then this other sauce that's kind of sweet, but also pretty spicy. And the fries are so freaking crunchy too. And it also had so much bacon. And then just look at this beautiful Reuben. The marbled rye bread is so pretty. And the corned beef was super tender. And it's got that crunchy, tangy sauerkraut and creamy Thousand Island. Honestly, it doesn't even feel like a fast food sandwich. Also, the mozzarella sticks were thick and and stuffed with like so much creamy, stretchy cheese. Like they did not skimp. And the marinara actually had a lot of flavor. Like is Arby's good? How have I never been here? I also tried the buffalo chicken sliders, which are so cute and tiny. And the buffalo sauce has like a little kick. And then the Parmesan ranch is like kind of cheesy, which is cool. I also tried it with the spicy three pepper sauce for a little more heat. And yeah, I mean, it was delicious. And finally, what we came here for, the double beef and cheddar. This thing is packed with meat. And I added their signature sauce and like it's definitely better than it looks because the beef is really tender but i think i prefer it with a horsey sauce because it adds that much needed bite to that like pile of meat and anyway that's all for today only eating at lgbtq plus owned restaurants for a full day happy pride month first up i went to seven bites which is also woman owned and i got their chicken and waffle sandwich the pearl sugar waffles are so crunchy on the outside but so soft and sweet and warm inside and the crispy buttermilk fried chicken has spicy buffalo sauce and honey and you know i love a runny egg and this mac and cheese was so cheesy they incorporated this caramelized onion bechamel that added so much flavor it was like Thick. And then I went to the Glass Knife, which is this gorgeous bakery and restaurant and coffee shop. They have everything, but I was here for the pastries. This chocolate one has this smooth onyx coffee infused cream center with salted caramel and these crunchy coffee bits on top. And then the dark chocolate mousse literally melts in your mouth. And this berries and cream pastry has a fluffy strawberry cake with a super sweet raspberry jelly and tangy lemon curd. And the white chocolate mousse is so vanilla -y. And finally, I went to Island Time, which is a Caribbean spot, and they have this skillet cornbread that comes with pickle butter, which is literally pickles and butter, I think. And they also have this house-made pepper jelly that I'm obsessed with. It's a little spicy and a little sweet. And I also tried their jumbo jerk wings that had a little kick. They could have been slightly spicier, but the chicken was pretty tender and they came with pineapple aioli. That was actually my favorite part. It was so thick and creamy. And that's all for today. Only eating Colombian food for a full day. For breakfast, I went to this bakery that literally smelled like heaven. And I got this pan de bono that was filled with Nutella instead of cheese and it's got kind of like a crispy outside but inside it's so soft and buttery and filled with warm rich Nutella and I also got a Colombian hot chocolate that apparently has cheese in it and it was so creamy and like really complex and not too sweet at all and then for lunch I got their house arepa that had beef chicken ham cheese a fried egg and that classic pink sauce which is like sweet and tangy and creamy and the arepa is so soft and buttery and I also got a chicken empanada that was super cheesy and crunchy and and like salty, savory. And then, okay, look at this massive roscon. So it's this sweet bread ring that's covered in sugar and filled with guava and cheese. It's soft and fluffy and the guava is so sugary sweet, but like the salty, creamy cheese really balances it out. And I also got a cococete, which I think are originally from Venezuela, but they're these super light, crunchy wafers layered with coconut cream. Delicious. And that's all for today. Only eating Japanese food for a full day. First up, I went to this Japanese crepe place and I believe that they're famous in Harajuku. I got this matcha chocolate truffle one that had matcha cream and Nutella and a bunch of fruit and these super rich chocolatey truffles. And then the vanilla ice cream is like covered in chocolate sauce and nuts. And the crepe itself is super thin and a little crispy and it goes so well with the fluffy cream and the juicy fruit. They also have onigirazu, which are kind of like sushi sandwiches, but they use spam. So they grill the spam with eel sauce, which almost caramel it like it's really sweet and savory and it also had avocado and spicy mayo and a fried egg it was delicious oh and my dad tried popping bubbles for the first time and then for dinner we went to kobe for some tempanyaki you know they gotta pull out all the tricks but in the end it's all about the food like the fried rice is so buttery and it gets a little crispy too and with the creamy sauce but then i can't decide which is better the fried rice or the noodles honestly the hardest part is trying to wait till all the food is made so you can like eat it all together but you just want to scarf it down right when they put it on 
on your plate. But anyway, I got the shrimp and teriyaki chicken and the shrimp was almost like caramelized with sweet savory sauce. And the chicken is always so tender. And the best part is when it all finally comes and you can have that one perfect bite with everything together. And anyway, that's all for today. Dave's Hot Chicken will not get off my For You page. So here we are. Got the hot tender. Also, this thing is huge. It's a good amount of heat. And I toasted the bread because I heard it needed to be toasted. Like, of course. Cheers. The sweetness of the honey with the spice. Oh, it's so good. These fries look really crispy. The sauce isn't as overpowering as cane sauce. It's a little more mild, like really tangy though. Ooh, and a little bit of honey. I don't know, we're trying things out. We're experimenting, we're learning. Cheesy, spicy, crunchy, sweet. You gotta try that. It's time for the extra hot. And the pickles, like they do not skimp. Whew. It just lights your mouth up with heat, but there's so much flavor too. <coughs> It really creeps up on you. Let's try it with some fries. That's delicious. I don't know if the lady recognized me, but she gave me two free combos, which is so nice. So I'm just going to eat more fried chicken, I guess. And that's all for today. Everything I ate flying from Florida to Barcelona. Yes, I did get Chinese food for breakfast, but just look at this glossy, tangy, sweet and sour pork with the thick lo mein. And this honey garlic chicken is like the sweetest chicken I've ever had. Like the honey flavor was intense, but it was so crispy. And Chris went to Wendy's and got me some fries and a frosty because it's the best combo ever. Like the hot, fresh, salty fries with that thick creamy vanilla frosty you gotta try it then we landed in new jersey for a layover and they had this huge food bazaar like everything from ramen to barbecue but i feel like you gotta get pizza in jersey it had italian sausage and meatballs and these yummy charred tomatoes and so much cheese and the crust was actually like nice and crispy with a little chewiness then i got some tanuki udon and i added some hot sauce and the noodles were so thick it had that yummy salty dashi broth and it was actually like really spicy and it had these crunchy tempura flakes too. And then our flight was delayed a casual six hours. So I got hungry again. And the guy at the bakery said this oatmeal cookie was the only one that he liked. And it was sweet, but just a little dry. We finally boarded our plane at like 1 a.m. And why is plain food so good? Like the sauce they used in this pasta was so tangy and sweet. Maybe I was just delusional at this point. Because this milk bar chocolate pretzel cookie crumb cake was like the best thing I've ever eaten. It was so salty and sweet and crunchy. And for breakfast, they gave us a cinnamon streusel biscotti and creamy strawberry yogurt. Yogurt. I don't think you were supposed to eat them together, but the biscotti was like rock hard, so it helped a little, and that's all for today.